my my main, uh, the most attractive character in Smash. I mean, he is. <laughs> but, I mean, he has the greatest shake amongst all. Like the ladies, they got the right strut, but he has the best shake so far. That that is, that is definitely uh, the case. Um, has that definitely shake taunt? Um, I think obviously. Um, Fury is one of those uh, Falcons that's incredibly technical, has the perfect pivots, has a lot of, you know, really uh, tricky movement. And Devin has mentioned in the past, something that's so incredible about Fury is how good his tracking is. He mm -hmm. follows so very well. Yeah, his, his explosive play as well as making sure that he stays in your face at all times. But Coconut Power, actually, he's doing a pretty good job of holding his own. Like, every time Fury has gotten in, it hasn't been too much. Oh, oh wow, my god, trying to go for a cross-up knee, maybe calling out a spot dodge, but not going to get any hits. Right, looking for that down throw knee. Not necessarily true on Wario, but if you DI in, it's definitely going to be kind of true right there. Nice up knee by Coconut Power. Going to get that back to the stage. Definitely one of those moves that Falklands can challenge, mm -hmm. but the hitboxes aren't that, all that bad. Definitely goes for the jab block right there. My There's god, I'm actually really liking Coconut's movement. Like, he's been he's been B-reversing out of situations, and also every time he recognizes a spot where he's in disadvantage, utilizing that great aerial mobility on Wario, just backing up out of there. And he's caught a lot of command right. grabs on Impor Fury. Important to keep in mind right now, now, the half waft is on deck, but despite the crouch cancel and the decent DI, going to go down to that back air. Yeah, good stuff on Fury, getting him finally on that back air, and Coconut actually just waiting it out, maybe waiting for him to yeah. get a little bit too antsy. You see a lot of people who like to run around all actually, over the place. Actually, crazily, crazily enough, when Wario is on the platform, he gains waft charge. Oh, that, yeah, so that, that's that, right. that is why Wario stood on the platform for the whole time. That's right, yeah. I forgot. You know, even after the stock loss, you still continue to hold on to your waft charge. Oh, waiting right there. Coconut just waiting off the side. Good micro spacing there to get that down tilt and get out of that situation. Ooh, nice nair right there. Frame four move very fast by Wario. The hitbox not the greatest, but that reversed up by Fury is going to get him a, a uh, rather back on stage. But as soon as he gets back, that half off by um, by Coconut Power to take the stock. Yeah, what a round one we have going here so far. Coconut doing a very solid job against Fury. Fury is kind of giving him the proper amount of respect, but. Every time they've backed off, the Coconut is usually the one to end up with uh, advantage after he gets back in. That is one thing that I feel like Fury does not respect nearly enough when I play him personally, is that he doesn't really have the respect for Chomp. Right there, we're seeing him be a bit more patient, was waiting for it, tries to get the up air knee, no, to no avail right there. Ooh. Gets a single hit in air into the multi jab. Oh, gets the air dodge read into you the do knee. not air dodge it, against Falcon, my friend, especially mm -hmm. not as Wario. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Don't, you don't want to give up that uh, free opportunity to get that kill on Fury, tracked all over it. Recognizing these situations, kind of burying him off to the side there. As soon as he got this, got Ooh, the throw. Quite the Go ahead, give me the air dodge. Get Nair, out of here, there. Jab one, two. Grab into the down throw. Phenomenal by Fury. Gonna be able to take that. Uh, mm -hmm. Coconut Power, Smashville. That is one of Warriors' best stages. No surprise, he's gonna go straight back to there. And you know what? If I'm Coconut Power, I definitely try to put that in my back pocket because it was in no way, shape, or form of getting bodied or anything too out of reach. He did a great job of microspacing his way out. He just couldn't seal it out at the end of it. But he was still going very well toe to toe with uh, Fury. Gets a jab, looking for the down air. He's been air dodging a lot of the time after those moves. Right there, though, gets the down tilt, double jab. One of those moves that's a little bit unconventional for Wario, mm -hmm. but definitely one that works out in that situation, especially against fast fallers. Looks for a jump, doesn't get it. Ooh, Which almost getting the knee there. It would have sealed out that kill, but not managing to hit it. And now we're seeing that Coconut Power is, is facing a little bit more troubles this time around, whereas the last game, he was ending up in more advantage, getting a lot of chomps. Fury throwing out a lot more hitboxes now, not really letting him get anything started. Ooh, that's the thing. Falcons turn around really slow, so he doesn't often get a whole lot of the punch. The beautiful perfect pivot jab right there is going to allow him to get back into stage control. Fair. Going to get the dash tag. Puts Falcon in the air exactly where Wario wants him to be. Wario does have actually quite a few good anti-airs. That up tilt and up such being invincible, but that back air, such sa so safe on shield. And just as he tried to drop and potentially for a spot dodge, he's going to be losing that stock. And Coconut coming back down, trying to regain some stage, stage control. C clips him on the early up B, uh, and, but, but this down air is going to push him back into stage. And this is one of the things that makes, oh, not respecting that chop enough. Not, one of those things that's definitely difficult in the matchup for Wario is that, like, Falcon's mobility just is, is, so far surpasses Wario on the ground mm -hmm. that it really, it, he mixes up Wario and, like, forces him to say, are, my, are you going to shield or am I going to cross you up and get a big uh, punish with either a dash attack or a F tilt or a pivot, pivot, pivot jab? And Fury's been so consistent at getting a whole lot of those. That dash dancing so good by him, waiting for an air dodge, does not give it to him. But Fury. He's, he's going to adapt. He's going to look and then say, you're not air dodging anymore? I'm just going to go straight for the knee now. Yeah, Coconut Power finally getting him off stage. He's been aiming for this for a while, trying to get the setup. Nice. Had the uh, right read on the roll, but unfortunately was out of space there. Can't get the kill. He's trying to force Fury onto the side. And now we have a full off charge. Now, uh, th this game is still very much doable. I'm going to miss that that late, the rather the um, end hit of that detail does not connect into grab, even at high percents. 
Yeah, Coconut definitely wants to try and get this kill off without wait burning the WAF so he can keep that clutch factor coming in. And Fury doing a great job just kind of microspacing him out, just staying at max range and just kind of fading back, waiting to hopefully catch him with maybe a falling up air. But Coconut Power is eating a lot of damage, currently wow, at 89% and 151. trade right there, really not good for him, just 1% with that down air. Ooh, re reads the rolling, gets a detail, and right now, Fury in a good position, but this is Wario after all, keep in mind. And one stock, and I don't want to say it's even just yet, because Falcon is quite quite heavy, but if he gets him to 30%, eh, it's only one hit away. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, he has gotten quite a bit off of these chomps and as well as uh, Dash Jack mix-ups. So if he could get one opening, this is still very much doable, but that back air is going to take yeah. it, and Fury Coconut Power is going to go down 2-0. Well. Using that massive experience that he has from people like me and Milk, to be able to play him quite frequently, might I add. Mm -hmm. And he's going to just continue, use the massive advantages that he has, and we're going to take the set.